Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the Gossip Closet where we get to gossip all about fashion, beauty, and everything in between. So, let's get started. Alright you guys, so in today's video, we are going to talk about my favorite top 10 most sweet delicious and i guess a little bit of sexiness in these perfumes i have 10 perfumes right here i picked out 10 perfumes now i do have a lot more than just 10 sweet perfumes but i'm gonna show you the top 10 sweet perfumes that i've been using a lot for the past couple of months now i really like these perfumes a lot they're sweet they're delicious they're kind of sexy so yeah if you're into that i'm gonna give you my top favorite sweet delicious sexy perfumes all right and i'm gonna start off with number 10 and at number 10 we have dripping gold by rebel you guys this perfume right here is so pretty and so sweet it's really nice and also elegant i am in love with this perfume now i did buy this perfume blindly and when i got it in the mail i was obsessed with it this perfume is literally nothing but sweet in a bottle and it's just so so good Ah, oh, you guys, it's also very nice, soft, and creamy. So this one has top notes of bergamot and mandarin. The middle notes are coconut and gardenia, and the base notes is vanilla and musk. And yes, the, the most top notes that I smell on this perfume is vanilla and coconut. Now, I've always said you cannot go wrong with vanilla and coconut, but this kind of smells a little bit different. It does have those nice and floral gardenia notes that kind of breaks down the vanilla and coconut so it doesn't just smell like vanilla and coconut it has that nice little hint of gardenia but it's very very sweet very delicious and it's just like a everyday type of perfume and i really really love this one and this is dripping gold by rebel Sense. all right so the next one on my list is crystal rose by molshim and co you guys this perfume is also very nice and sweet but this perfume right here is a little bit more on the dark side a little bit more on the like mysterious sexy sweet side and i love 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 bottles like this it's just unique this one has top notes of black currant raspberry and pear the middle notes are irish tunisian orange blossom and jasmine and the base notes are tonka bean praline patchouli madagascar vanilla so yes you guys this perfume it's very sweet but also very fruity this is literally if you dunk a raspberry in uh melted chocolate and you eat it and you can taste that chocolate in it but all you you could also taste that fruitiness of the raspberry it's just very fruity but very sweet like chocolatey i think the praline in this perfume it's what's very like stands out a lot but it also has hints of vanilla you can smell the vanilla in here and what i like about this perfume a lot is that it lingers around in the air it's just so so good the lasting power on this perfume is top notch so if you're looking for something that's a little bit more than just sweet you want something sweet fruity and tropical this is the way to go and i feel like this is more of a nighttime type of scent it's just really really good you guys you will not you will not be disappointed with this one it's so so good and again this is crystal rose by molshim and co paris and the next one on my list is Peppa Jeans for her and this one's called Peppa Jeans London. Okay, you guys, this perfume right here, not only is it a beautiful bottle, it's like a nice martini glass. This is just a really, really cute bottle. It's unique. I love it. And you guys, when I first tried this perfume, this is how you open it. When I first tried this perfume, I was automatically in love with it. I did buy this blindly and I'm super glad that I did because it, you guys, way till i describe this perfume this perfume is so delicious it's so sweet let me read the notes so you can see what i'm talking about so this has notes of marshmallow almond and tangerine the middle notes are vanilla almond milk and vodka yes vodka and the base notes are amber and musk 
Okay, this perfume is just all over the place in sweetness and I love it. I do gotta say, I don't smell marshmallow on this perfume. I really don't smell marshmallow. I do smell amber, but it's not strong. So if you don't like amber perfumes, I'm not the biggest fan of amber perfumes, but the amber in this perfume is just right. It's not too, too, too powerful. It's not too, too in intense. I, I think it has the right amount of amber. What I do smell a lot in this is almond. Almond milk, vanilla, a little bit of the vodka, and the tangerine. I think the, the juice of a tangerine is what gives it that nice, sweet, sugary scent to this perfume. And then you can also smell that almost bitterness of the vodka, but it's also very fresh, and I like that. Even though this perfume is so good and it's so sweet, of course it's not something extraordinary or extravagant. But it is a really good perfume, you guys. This I would say this is like an everyday type of wear perfume because it's not too strong and it's not like all up in your face. It has just the right amount of lasting power, maybe about three or four hours depending on how much you spray. But it is a really good scent. It's very tangerine, it's very juicy, but it's also very sweet. And I love that about this perfume, that just the sweetness of it. So yeah, you guys, this is a really good sweet perfume and I absolutely love this perfume and I'm so glad that I got my hands on this one and I can't wait to try more Peppa Jean's perfumes so yeah this is the Peppa Jean's London for her all right you guys and moving on to number four and at number four we have Signoria Misteriosa by Ferragamo whoo child let me just begin by saying this right here is a nighttime baddie right here this is a nighttime Batty. This right here, you guys, is definitely a sexy, hot day night with your loved one, if you know what I mean. This is a powerful, strong perfume. It just, it lasts a long, a very, very long time on your skin, on your clothes, and it's just so, so sweet, but it's also very dark and mysterious just kind of like the champagne one the one that looks like in a champagne bottle the Moshim and co perfume this one is also very dark and mysterious this one has top notes of blackberry and neroli middle notes are tuberose and orange blossom and the base notes are milk mousse black vanilla husk and patchouli and you guys you definitely can smell every single note on this perfume but the top note that i smell on this perfume is the black Berry. The blackberry in this perfume is very dominant and you can also feel the tuberose kicking in So it's, it's kind of like the blackberry fighting the tuberose in this perfume because you can smell both of them equally And once it dries down, that's when the patchouli and the vanilla kick in and they're so playful with each other But you can still smell the blackberry So it's like a black like a juicy blackberry Like if you squeeze a bunch of blackberries and you drink that juice and then you chase it down with like vanilla milkshake with patchouli leaves on top it's kind of like that. I know that's kind of weird, but it's really, really nice and sweet. I absolutely love this perfume and it's really long lasting. I feel like with this perfume, if I spray four or five times, I will get a good eight hours out of this perfume. So yes, I highly recommend this perfume if you're into dark, mysterious, sexy, sweet, vanilla, blackberry perfumes, you are going to absolutely love this one and again this is Signorina Misteriosa by Ferragamo all right you guys moving on to number five and at number five we have a perfume that is no stranger to sweet perfumes and it is none other than Juicy Couture Gold now this perfume shouldn't be a stranger in a perfume collection like if you are into perfumes especially if you're into sweet perfumes this right here is no stranger I almost feel like this one doesn't need an introduction this perfume is just so so sweet this is literally the definition of sweetness this one has top notes of wild berries honeysuckle jasmine sandbag base notes are caramel vanilla amber and sandalwood so as you can see a lot of these perfumes have notes of like wild berries or some type of berry and they also have notes of like vanilla and amber and I gotta say, this is probably one of my favorite perfumes that I first got when I first started collecting perfumes. Or not really collecting perfumes, but like buying perfumes. The scent is just very vanilla-ish, very caramel-ish, but it's also very wild berries. Like it said, it kind of smells like a, like a blueberry, raspberries, uh, strawberries, anything with berries. But with a little bit of like melted caramel, sugar, vanilla, it's just 
sweet 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 and i absolutely love 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 this perfume so yeah this is literally the definition of a sexy sweet perfume and this is gold couture by viva la juicy all right and moving on to number six we have none other than kkw's nude lips so i don't even know where to begin to describe how beautiful how just elegant this perfume is and i just wish the bottle was bigger because literally this is the bottle and i can go through this in a whole week i like literally can go through this in a whole week because i absolutely love this perfume you guys this perfume is so so pretty it's so i don't know i want to say like very soft and elegant but it's so like pretty it's just a pretty uh sweet vanilla perfume so this has top notes of solar notes spices lily of the valley it also has middle notes of magnolia jasmine and peony and the base notes are tahiti and vanilla amber and musk yes you guys this perfume is so pretty it's so i don't know i want to say peony ish like you can smell the peony on this perfume you can also smell the vanilla, it's very musky, which is what I absolutely love about this perfume. I don't smell amber as much in this perfume, but it's just so pretty. Like, I, every time I put this on, I feel pretty, and I've gotten so, so many compliments with this perfume. The only problem or downfall that I have with this perfume is that it's not long lasting it's like two hours and it's completely gone but honestly the scent it's totally totally worth it so yeah you guys this is really nice it's a soft touch of like pink vanilla peony perfume so if you are into floral and sweet perfumes combined together you're going to absolutely love this one and i think a lot of people did like this perfume i believe it also even won an award for best fragrance of the year so that tells you a lot about this perfume. And again, this is the KKW Nude Lip. All right, you guys, moving on to number seven. So now we are entering the beast mode perfumes that are more powerful, more stronger in sweetness. And at number seven, we have Valentino Donna, Born in Roma. Okay, this perfume is no joke. This perfume is what you call beast in a bottle. You guys, this perfume, it is wild. It is crazy two sprays i swear to god two sprays is all you need from this perfume and you will light up the whole entire room i cannot begin to tell you how many compliments i've gotten with this perfume holy crap this right here is a woody um spicy sexy sweet perfume but it's not spicy like a nasty spicy like how do i say it it's not a bad spicy it's a sweet spicy it's just so good and so elegant this right here is like a bougie perfume like if you want to feel sexy but rich go with this one it is so good and it's so sweet all right so this one has top notes of black currants pink pepper and bergamot the middle notes are jasmine sandback jasmine and jasmine tea the base notes are bourbon vanilla cashmere and wok wood so you can smell the bergamot and the pink pepper a lot in this perfume but once that black currant and that vanilla kick in whoa it's a completely completely different scent on this one it starts to smell very very sweet but also very floral again this is one of those perfumes that if you like floral notes and you like that sweetness put together you are going to love this perfume but again you guys this is a beast mode perfume i would think this perfume would give a lot of people who are not into strong perfume headaches so if you're not into strong 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 perfumes i would not recommend this one but if you are into beast mode like myself you are going to like this one i would try it out i would check it out because this is just a bougie perfume and the bottle is just so elegant to me two or three sprays of this one it will last me all night all day i would get about nine or ten hours with just two or three sprays you guys i kid you not again this is valentino donna born in roma all right, and moving on to another beast mode, another one that doesn't need an introduction is the Jean Paul Gaultier Labelle. Oh yes, this perfume, it's very, very intoxicating, you guys. At first, I was not uh, the biggest fan of this perfume because it's so, so strong. It's so powdery. I wasn't sure if I liked it or not, but the dry down on this perfume, you guys, the dry down is what made me fall in love with this perfume. It is so, so 
elegance and so sweet. I did buy this perfume blindly and I bought the small bottle because I wasn't sure. This perfume is very expensive so I didn't want to spend the extra coins on the bigger bottle because I'm like, what if I don't like it? And like I said, at first I didn't like it but this perfume has grown on me. But again, with this one, just like the last Valentino perfume, this one you only need about two sprays that's it like don't do it more because you will intoxicate your nose and everyone around you this perfume is definitely beast mode okay i'm gonna spray it just one time on my wrist because again this is a really strong perfume it's very intoxicating but it's really pretty and elegant okay so this one has top notes of pear and bergamot it has floral notes and leather and the base notes are vanilla vetiver amber and musk so yes this perfume at first it starts off very amber ish so it's like leather and amber it's so 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 strong that i was not the biggest fan of because i don't like amber perfumes very strong amber perfumes and i feel like this one is a really strong amber perfume but once it dries down on your skin for about like five minutes later oh my god that's when the vanilla and the musk and the pear kick in and it's so so pretty and so sugary sweet and i absolutely love that about this perfume now once it dries down you can still smell the amber but it's not as strong as when you first spray Spray it. What I like about this is the dry down because I can smell mostly vanilla and musk and a little bit of amber. Like I said, you can still smell the amber, but for me, I can smell more like the vanilla and the musk because I really love vanilla and musky perfumes. I think those are my favorite ones. And this is more like a nighttime, wintertime type of perfume. It's also very sticky. Like it just kind of gives me like honey sticky uh, notes. I mean, it doesn't have honey notes, but I feel like it kind of gives me those sticky honey note this also kind of reminds me of like the Jean Paul Gaultier scandal perfume but this one's a little bit more sweet a little bit more on the vanilla side so yeah if you haven't checked this one out and you like strong perfumes check it out and this is Jean Paul Gaultier La Belle all right so moving on to another sweet and amber ish perfume we have here K Ali sweet diamond pink pepper where do I begin describing this a beautiful beautiful gem holy crap this perfume you guys oh i don't have to spray this because you can smell the powerfulness of this perfume through the little bottle the little sprayer on top it is whoa you guys this perfume is so so sweet but it's also very dark and mysterious this to me is perfection in a bottle this is so elegant so classy so sexy so sweet so bougie so rich so everything everything it's just like a really nice creamy sweet dark spicy perfume and i absolutely love this one so this one has top notes of pink pepper saffron royal lily and bergamot it has middle notes of bulgarian rose may rose vanilla orchid and magnolia and the base notes are sandalwood amber patchouli and musk so again this is another really strong amber perfume and you guys whoa <laughs> it's a very powerful powdery perfume it's kind of like baby powder but not like cheap baby powder this is like a i don't know like a bougie baby powder it just smells very very powdery it smells very soft it's also spicy but very very sweet like the name says it all sweet diamond pink pepper top three notes that i smell in here is amber pink pepper and vanilla this is also a very floral perfume you can smell the bulgarian rose but i feel like i can smell mostly the pink pepper the amber and the sweetness of the vanilla like those three notes are just so playful with each other that it gives you that nice sense like just from beginning to end this perfume is so so sweet but in a good way this for me would be like a sweet sexy day night this is for sure a nighttime perfume winter time of perfume and it's also kind of like one of those sticky type of perfumes it's just so beautiful you guys it's so so beautiful so elegant i would highly recommend this this is not for everyone but if you like strong perfumes sweet perfumes amber perfumes pink pepper perfumes floral perfumes you are going to absolutely love this perfume and this is no joke this is a beast mode and again this is k ali's sweet diamond pink pepper 
highly recommend this. All right, so moving on to the last one, the last but not least, it's another one from the house of Kaoli, and this is Utopia Vanilla Cocoa. You guys, this right here is my current obsession. I've been using this perfume every single day. Like literally, I don't think you can see on camera, but my perfume is up to right here. Like right here. I'm almost running out. When this first came out, I bought the small bottle because they only came out with a small bottle. And then they released the bigger bottle. As soon as I am done with this, I'm running to the store and I'm getting the bigger bottle because I absolutely love this perfume. Utopia Vanilla Coco. You guys, I want to shower in this perfume because this is so... This is my signature scent at the moment. Like, I really am obsessed, 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 obsessed with this perfume. It's just so creamy. It's so delicious. It's so sexy. It's just, like, delicious. It's so creamy. This perfume kind of reminds me of, like, marshmallows, vanilla, uh, drinking a pina colada inside a cocoa or a uh, coconut or drinking a pina colada on a pineapple. Like, it's just all those notes that makes this perfume smell so good and so delicious i'm in love i am in love this right here is what you call a sweet perfume like if you want sweet and nothing but sweet pick this one because this one right here it's a game changer so for me it's a game changer so this one has top notes of coconut milk pear blossom honeysuckle and italian lemon it has middle notes of jasmine sandbag gardenia, tuberose, and amberettes. And the base notes are bourbon, vanilla, sandalwood, musk, and patchouli. Yeah, I don't know you guys, but this perfume, I can't get enough. I cannot get enough of this perfume. The coconut in here, the vanilla in here, the patchouli in here, just everything in this scent works perfectly. The sandalwood, the musk, everything just plays and complements each other very very well this is just like a sweet pastry in a bottle and i absolutely love it and i know i just spray some but i'm gonna do a little bit more because i absolutely love that perfume yes again this one was k ali utopia vanilla cocoa wow you guys my room smells like a freaking heaven like it just smells like a pastry in here and i absolutely love it so yeah this was my top 10 picks and sweet perfumes these are the perfumes that i've been wearing lately and i've been wearing them a lot so i highly recommend you guys checking them out but yeah you guys i know there's a lot more sweet perfumes and i do have a lot more but these are just the ones that i've been using lately a lot but if you guys have any favorite sweet perfumes let me know in the comments down below because i would like to know what are your top sweet favorite perfumes i always like to try out new perfumes so let me know your top favorite sweet perfumes but all right you beautiful people that is pretty much it for today's video i can't wait till we gossip on our next one until then i'll see you next time bye